Uh, welcome students to my uh, 18th lecture which I want to give you on an advanced uh, technology which we have developed at uh, IIT Kharagpur. Uh, it goes microcontroller based uh, uniform seed rate application system. Well, we have talked of the different types of seed rate uh, application systems or seeding systems we have talked of. Now, there are certain lacuna of those. Uh, you, because those units uh, are driven by the ground wheel, the metering mechanism or the metering shaft, the seed metering shaft uh, is driven by taking power from the ground wheel. And you know that the ground wheel is uh, uh, facing uh, different types of soil. So, we find that uh, many times we get losses, many times we get missings of the seeds, many times um, uh, seed damage also takes place in the uh, because of the metering device. So, we have gone into a technology by which we are in a better position to solve all those problems to some extent. Uh, let us go through this so, and using microcontrollers, using electronics. Here this is what uh, you can say that use of precision agriculture that means use of electronics in agricultural equipment design where uh, we can solve some of our problems because of the mechanical uh, design which we were facing so far. Well, what is this uh, a mechanical system? Uh, this uh, actually when we are talking of a commercial level mechanical planter, the seed metering mechanism is operated by the ground wheel as I said. What are the drawbacks of this? As I said earlier, high missing, adjustment of seed rate is difficult and then uh, absence of seed monitoring system. Actually, we are not in a position to monitor. So, these are some of the important uh, difficulties that we faced when we have this equipment. So, to, in order to take care of this, as I said, we need help of uh, a system which we call from mechanical transmission, we are talking of a mechatronics, a mechatronics uh, transmission, where we are going to use the electronics part of it, we are going to use a high level of mechanization uh, for doing the seed metering. It is a blend of uh, uh, this mechatronics is nothing but a brand of mechan uh, you can say mechanical and electronics or mechanics or electronics to put to mechanical and electronics put together uh, what you get in in very simple definition of this at your level uh, as an agriculture engineer you must know what exactly this mechatronic means and that's why in a very simple way i have tried to define it advantage of this well if you have seen the difficulties or the drawbacks the, uh, in the system earlier, definitely we, if we overcome those, then those are the uh, advantages that we are going to get if we have a mechatronic uh, system. What are those? There would not be any skidding because we may not be taking power from the ground wheel. Uniform seed rate application, yes, there will be uniform seeding which will take place, there will be hardly any missings and losses. Optimum use of seeds, we will not be losing seeds definitely, we will have a precise and a, uh, pinpointed system by which we can put seeds as well as we want, then definitely there would not be any loss or uh, optimum use will be there. Electronic seed controller and seed monitoring system, the seed controlling and monitoring will be an electronic one which will do very precise and of course, easy adjustment of the seed rate. Yes, this is another thing when you might have seen that in the seed come fertilizer drill or only a seed drill with, uh, with a fluted roller drive, what we have done? We have changed the exposure uh, length of the fluted roll and there, that way we have been in a position to adjust the seed rate. But then in this case, you can do it very easily, you can do it very um, without any problem. So, these are definitely the advantage of mechatronic system here. A block diameter of a uniform seed rate application system. Now, what are the electronic parts? What are the components which are involved in, in such a system? It is important for you to know, it is important for you to understand. See, how do we rate, how do you find out the speed? We want to know what is the speed at which my tractor should travel and uh, what will be the relevant uh, uh, soil slippage which may take place uh, to the tractor wheels. So, for that we have 
um, the speed measuring there is a radar sensor there is a radar sensor here. So, if the radar sensor is fixed at a location uh, in the tractor where it will measure the actual speed of the tractor. This is very important we must know what is the theoretical speed we can always get uh, by rotating the wheel and uh, this actual speed when uh, there is a load on to the wheel what will be there. So, we would like to measure this and once we know these two then we will be in a position to, add, uh, and to estimate what is the level of slip that occurs. Then uh, for seed detection and seed monitoring for seed detection and seed monitoring we have the infrared sensor. This is another uh, aspect because we need this we want to know the whether the seed has been falling or not whether the seed uh, is going through the tube or not this monitoring and detection is very important. So, these two aspects one will talk of the speed of movement the other will talk of monitoring of the seed this information goes to a microcontroller here. So, this microcontroller gives takes this information and once is equipped with all this then it will talk, go to the motor controller it will uh, then it will in advise the motor controller to operate permanent magnet DC motor then this will do here this is PMDC motor. So, operate the seed metering load this will this uh, say the information is once information from these two comes to the controller controller will then advise the motor controller this is the controller of the this particular PMDC motor. Then the job of metering mechanism will be uh, completed or this uh, metering mechanism will take place then this will happen. Now, here are the seed metering device seed in fact this is seed metering plate which is being uh, seen here and these are the seeds which are shown here uh, I mean at uh, this location. Now, this is a cut off device uh, over here. So, this is a block diagram of the seed application system if of the of a microcontroller based system here. Now, how we have done definitely this requires knowledge of the electronics uh, on the part of the design you may not be a, an agricultural uh, an agricult as an agricultural engineer you may not have gone through some of the courses, but I think uh, at IIT Kharagpur uh, we are uh, learning this part of it and then trying to apply by taking help from our uh, colleagues from different departments and uh, even uh, somebody is interested to learn he can learn the courses this courses on his on his own and uh, use these uh, the equipment uh, uh, the devices and components for getting a good uh, seed application system. So, these are the components of uh, shown in the block diagram. Motor speed control method how do you control the, the uh, motor speed? Well, it is important we must know what is the science behind it because how the seats are falling. So, the n is the rpm of the DC motor. So, n is the r n is the rpm of the DC motor v is the forward speed of the tractor v is the forward speed of the tractor then desired seat spacing what desired seat spacing we want this is here. Then the number of holes in the seat plate well uh, I have shown you in this see this is the uh, holes which are uh, there the locations where the uh, the seeds will be will be there and this is the location where it will be cut off and it will fall. So, number of holes in the seed plates there are n 8 uh, are shown here over here this one seed plate here. Then the seed spacing here very nicely shown here you can have a look at this that S D is the desired seed spacing these are the two locations where the seeds are uh, spaced. So, using this you can know what is the rpm of the motor what rpm of the motor should be there if you want to have a certain number of seed at certain spacing for a particular crop because the crop uh, will differ and the type of the seed will be differing and many things will be there. So, when you want to have for a particular crop what should be the rpm this has to be designed and this is this is the formula um, using which you can design. Now, once this is designed the other power transmission are a reduction unit that is PMDC motor is here this point is chain drive because then 
we with the motor now we are in a position to um, uh, operate the uh, seed metering mechanism. So, this is the chain and sprocket type of mechanism. So, we are talking of mechanical and then electronics. So, there are certain portions we will talk of the electronics input information and direct the um, uh, uh, mechanical device to do the job. This is what is done uh, in this case here. So, motor speed control method this is how we do in the uh, microcontroller me uh, uh, equipment. Mr. Mabhi, static torque on seed metering shaft, very important. See, uh, as a designer, you must know what is the torque which is coming onto the seed because you will design when you are thinking of designing of a seed drill, you will define think of a seed hopper, then you will think of the seed um, metering shaft, and then there will be uh, the metering mechanisms. Uh, either it is a um, plate, uh, inclined plate, or a um, vertical plate, or you will think of a uh, opening or whatever may be decides. When you think of this, you must know how much is the power required, what is the torque on the um, shaft which is required. So, measurement of static torque on seed metering shaft, we have done this part. It is very essential as a designer. So, I um, will uh, just tell you that we have done this part. There is a load cell here. Yes. So, torque measurement here. So, there is a load cell here, this load cell in fact, we are interested to know through see we can you we have used the mechanism here to see what is the uh, distance and then how much is the uh, load force we when we apply through this, what is the load coming on to the to the system. And uh, the, this is the uh, assembly which I had shown earlier about the, uh, uh, the power transmission, the uh, chain and sprocket power transmission. There is a uh, idler here which will talk of the tension of the uh, chain. Uh, digital display. Now, this is the digital display that we are getting about what is the distance and what is the force supplied here through this. So, known distances are there. So, we are in a position when we are uh, measuring the torque we are in a position to measure the force and that display is uh, uh, shown over there. Now, uh, so the load cell has a standard load cell has been used in this case. Mechatronics uh, transmission system. Now, then what is this mechatronics? Now, here when we are talking of the the PMDC motor, we have given information to the motor to rotate. Now, this encoder is the one which will talk of the uh, RPM of uh, uh, RPM of this. So, we are in a position to monitor the RPM and then chain drive is um, of course, is there which will now ultimately uh, meter the seed metering mechanism. So, what we are doing in this is the, the PMDC motor which has instruction through the uh, microcontroller via its, its own controller and then we are in a position to utilize the rotation of this uh, shaft which is over here uh, through the encoder and then we are in a position to, power, uh, to transmit power from this uh, uh, sprocket to this sprocket. So, depending upon the ratio we are in a position to know what is the uh, speed at which it should move depending upon the uh, seed rate that we want, depending upon the type of seed we have and the crop etcetera and the speed at which the whole tractor is moving. So, we need to uh, we need to design all these things in a in a befitting manner while keeping in point uh, keeping in view the electronics part of it, what are the electronics components give you and then what are the mechanical parts and how they should be matched together to get the total output of uh, not scaling and then getting everything the way we want for this mechatronic system, the advanced system which was uh, not there earlier.
Well, here it is uh, shown that uh, the real time seed uh, uh, counting system there is a uh, there is a you can see here there is a seed counting system these are sensors uh, in each one of the IR sensors in each one of them. So, the you are in uh, yes uh, so that real time seed countering we can do this is a, this is one view of the machine which has been shown to you here and uh, there is a 12 volt uh, DC motor which um, uh, I, we discussed earlier. So, we are in a position to know from each each uh, uh, location as to whether the seeds are falling or not and there are sensors and there are other methodologies and there are other aspects of uh, how to know whether the seed is uh, actually falling or not or uh, there is a congestion of the seed in between the uh, tube etcetera that we are in a position to see and uh, understand. Well, performance parameters of precision planter. I think uh, 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 well precision uh, we, we do need to know what are the performance parameters of, of a precision planter. You see here miss index in fact uh, we we should be talking of missing index how what what are the misses how many misses will take place when the seed is falling actually this is what it is so the miss index here i i is the percentage of spacing greater than 1.5 times the set planting distance as in millimeter well these are some of the aspects which we need to uh, need to design on the basis of the uh, literature available on the basis of literature available as to for a particular seed what what is what is this and how this value should be actually thought of because we do not want uh, several missings because otherwise this will talk of a bad performance of the uh, equipment then multiple index now this may also uh, happen that uh, multiple seeds are there see we are talking of precision planting we are talking of precision application of everything either seed fertilizer whatever. So, we want certain amount only should go which is just required. So, for that we do not want that uh, uh, there should not be uh, uh, anyone at the same time we do not want that there should be multiple of that when I want one I just want one only I do not want multiple I do not want zero at uh, some point of time. So, we do not want this multiple index also which also says that multiple index is the percentage of spacing that are less than or equal to half of the set plant now yes just some aspects some spacing once we have uh, planting distance we have measured. So, we would like that there should be multiple should not be there within a certain distance that is what we will describe explain as the multiple index uh, and uh, multiple uh, seeds falling we would like to consider this in this particular as per this definition. Then quality of feed index what is the quality of feed index that means how the uh, feed shaft or how is the metering shaft working. Now, you can see here quality of feed index I q is the percentage of spacing that are more than half more than half, but not more than 1.5 times the set planting distance. Now, this is uh, well we have de designed these aspects looking into the several other parameters and the plant population which actually is desired by the agronomist. So, keeping into these, these performance indicators for a precision planter have been uh, developed and designed. Uh, see here it shows that I q is equal to 100 minus I miss I multiple that means, the number uh, the missing index and the multiple index both we would not like to have them. So, out of the 100 if we reduce or if we subtract this is the one which we are talking of the quality. So, this um, I q is the one which we are decide and this in fact this is a very simple way of de defining. So, all of you, you must look into this and if you feel that there is some uh, some other improvement in this you could uh, you could may add up uh, because we are not talking with respect to the power source we are not talking with respect to any accuracy of any other equipment. What we are talking is whether the seed is flowing at that location or not whether multiple seeds are coming, if they are coming, what is the distance between which multiple seeds are coming, how far is the distance between these two. So, then precision in the spacing, yes, this is the uh, crux. In fact, we are all talking of precision, we are talking of 
the uh, distances where we would like to uh, keep the seeds because until unless this is maintained then uh, the whole aspect of the whole purpose of precision will be defeated say. So, the precision in space IP is measure of the variability coefficient of variation you can say what is the level of variation we can uh, allow in, in the spacing S between seeds or plants. So, this precision spacing we would like say the, there has to be because when the equipment is working there is possibility that there will be some dispersion of the seeds when they are fall into the going uh, into the uh, into the furrow while the tractor and the equipment is going forward it is quite likely. So, we need to have a monitoring about the forward speed we need to have monitoring of the system which we are uh, having whether electronic system or a mechanical system and then we would like to see what is the um, deviation or the variability uh, measure of the variability of the spacing we would like to have. So, that has been given as um, this should be suffix I think yes this is suffix here s d as shown here. So, you see suffix is the standard deviation and so s d by s where s is the spacing between the seeds or the plants. So, between between the spacing this is the one which is there. So, this is these parameters the miss index, the multiple index, the quality of index, the precision in spacing these are the ones which talk of the performance parameter of a precision planter. We have talked of these because we find that uh, the, the moment we talk of the um, precision equipment seeding is one which is very important from all counts and um, the, uh, the losses etcetera should not be there. And what happens is that the seed um, if it is properly placed at the right place in the right environment of the soil and with less congestion around it of other uh, plants or unwanted plants or weeds then it will grow it will get, get a lot of tillerings etcetera. And we have found that the growth is also the yield is also very high in this case that is why it is very important uh, that precision planting must be done for these uh, uh, crops whatever is the crop that we are choosing in this context. Comparison of field test results well when we did this uh, exercise when we did this job we wanted that uh, what is the efficiency of our system as compared to other systems or the compared to systems which are all existing because in the existing system there was no mechatronics uh, it was all a mechanical system and the power is taken from the ground wheel and the preparation of the ground is also varied from location to location several things. So, in that context when we designed uh, the machine and we wanted to use electronics and mechatronics in the system we, we had these parameters and the changes which I discussed with respect to the speed of operation with respect to the metering of the seed etcetera. And then ultimately when we measure the performance with regard to those parameters of miss index and then multiple seeds etcetera and variability we find a comparison and uh, it is encouraging one you can have a look at this this is very encouraging one. See this average seed spacing in existing system is this. So, we are not very far off this is one which we need that yes it should not be very far off. So, very very close average miss missing index is this. Now, we have this value here you can see that uh, large uh, reduction in this missing index that means we are in a position to see that all the places there will be uh, 95 percent of the places there will be seeds available in this. Multiple index you see the value of multiple index here that 10.8 so much so much of multiple seeds are falling with the existing system because of the skidding because of uh, some some locations because of the uh, soil moisture and all that it could be possible multiple index is higher in this case we have very less. Now, average quality feed index is this and we have got this very encouraging very high. So, you see that the quality feed index is 87.5 it is 88 percent very close. Then average precision index now you see here um, uh, average precision index is 24.25 but 11.5 here. Now, develop system uh, I think here we would uh, be talking of the accuracy. 
I think here we are talking of the accuracy of this. So, you see the accuracy is better. So, the developed system which has a mechatronic system uh, developed at IIT Kharagpur is an innovative one and uh, further work we are doing with respect to in fact uh, using even embedded systems and other uh, uh, electronic uh, devices and we will continue to do that. But yes, for your knowledge we would like we wanted you to have and inf uh, this information that work is going on, you can think of uh, such units in future because it is the mm, when we are talking of precision, uh, this is the way uh, by which if we have better equipment, uh, more and more tractor utilization or utilization of power will be done. Because we know that more power on the farm, more will be the output, this is direct relation. So, how can you get more power, not by manual power or the uh, animal power to that extent, but definitely we are talking of a uh, tractor power. So, when you want that uh, better tractors are used, more tractors are used, then the equipment has to be there which will match the capacity of these. So, and in the performance of this, then definitely we have got all these uh, equipment which are uh, each uh, with respect to each parameter, we find that this is better and cost is also, we must also look into the cost of this uh, system, the cost of the system is also not very high and a time will come when, when uh, multiple units, when the manufacturers come and uh, try to manufacture all these equipment uh, and uh, use the units, you will find the cost will also come down. So, there will be a cost comparison also at one uh, stage of time or one point of time. And uh, we are called um, uh, confident that definitely the, the there is a future for such equipment which are accurate and which will be giving more precise and hence uh, ultimately giving higher yield. Comparison between conventional, well, some more comparisons here I, I can show you. Transmission system, variation of seed rate, seed monitoring system, cost, yes I was talking of the cost, weight, this is the um, same. Say with the same weight unit, you can find out that the planter developed at IIT Kharagpur, we have certain comparisons here, I just electric motor driven mechatronics uh, system here, this is mechanical, mechanical transmission. We do not say here, by the way it is not that we are saying that this is a bad system existing, but we are thinking of improvement, we are thinking of high quality, we are thinking of more and more precision, we are thinking of advanced technology to be used for solving our problems which we had in this mechan uh, mechanical system. So, we are talking with respect to that. The uniform seed spacing, yes we want and then leads to better yield, saving in the seeds and better yields losses are lesser. So, when losses are lesser also mm, it will add to more and more yield. Then variation of the seed rate, the, we have difficulty in variation, we have to change the gear ratios, uh, interchanging the sprockets and things like that. But here easily mm, by an electronic control system which varies the motor speed, this can be very easily done and maybe the operator who is sitting on the uh, tractor itself, he should be in a position to do this. Seed monitoring, well there is uh, there is no seed monitoring in the existing one, but we have a seed monitoring here I discussed. Cost, yes I said that there will be cost higher, but then when we talk of a unit which will be multiple unit being manufactured and large scale, this will come down and it will be all advantages, weight of course uh, remains to be seen. So, with respect to what we have designed at IIT Kharagpur, I think this is a new technology which is uh, uh, which is available and more and more work is going on in this line and for your information we wanted to let you know about this thank you